when you play, I guess, as well as you did in the first half and still end up losing 4 0, did it just amplify how good this Liverpool side are when they counter attack like that? Yeah. Um, that was not that surprising that when they are one up or two up, that it is getting more and more difficult. And that when, when we try to press still, and then the space is getting bigger and bigger, and that they then kill you, it's not so surprising. But it uh, was maybe also was a little bit surprising that they had 50 minutes, not really a good goal chance against us. And we had massive, we had a pass back to the goalkeeper where we can get a free kick in the box. We had chances, Ingsy hit uh, long his heel, and chance to score. I think we entered so often the the, 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 the box from Liverpool that was uh, yeah against the best team in the world. 50 minutes like this playing is yeah for us a massive signal to be honest. And I want to see this game when we go one up and we had the penalty decision what was for me a crucial crucial moment in this game but I, th I don't want to speak too much about referee decisions to make because my team played too well to 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 lose the focus on what they did today. And um, I think it was fantastic to watch. I enjoyed every minute from my team. I wanted them to play like they did and never stopped uh, doing what we can do best. And uh, if you then concede four goals, uh, it's maybe a little bit too high, but um, who cares? I think um, the way we played today, we showed we showed up, absolutely, and uh, I'm very proud of my team. It's rough you were playing without uh, recognised way back, sort of James Will Prowse filling in, and Stuart Armstrong was injured as well, so it caused a little bit of changes. Can you talk us through that a bit? Yeah, perhaps he did a good job. Uh, it didn't look that we lose automatism <laughs> in the first half. It was absolutely perfect. Otherwise, he cannot play like this. Uh, I think there was one situation before the halftime where he kicked the ball long and didn't know what to do anymore uh, against us, against our high pressing. And this is not normal. Uh, but. You know that you have 90 minutes, and even if we are one up after the half time, it would be a long way to go to take something here. But I would like to have this seen this game then, and yeah, we didn't deserve to win for Liverpool. Also, in 4 0, they had another few good chances where we made good saves, but at the end, uh, yeah, that shows how strong they are. They played on Wednesday evening, still are focused. Uh, it's not one moment and you think they underestimate you and 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 uh, this makes this team so unbeatable at the moment but um, you need to have uh, yeah you need to be brave and i think we have been today and this is what makes me very proud i know you you not you don't want to talk about the referee but that view of the Ings foul or the foul on Ings that he, he was pretty sure that he was caught yeah, I don't see the reason why he should go down because he's alone in front of the goalkeeper and he hits him twice. If the first is not a, a foul, then the second hit is a clear foul. Yeah? But yes, I think it will not happen that a Liverpool scores and then the referee says no goal and we get a penalty. I think this we can forget. We saw Southampton change a lot of the wide position, so Musa and Redmond frequently sort of flanked. Was that something you worked on today? Uh, no, but it was necessary because sometimes we finish the action and then you must come as quick as possible back to your position. And if it's not yours, then you have to take another one, but you have to take one. And then it's sometimes he's left and he's right, and who cares? Then we must come as quick as possible back in shape. And the shape worked today as long as we were 0-0, zero, zero, but then at the end it is normal. When you get them on the front foot and they play long and, and the second goal was unbelievable because this was a, I don't, I don't know, a pass outside, it was like a clear shot, but, but it comes immediately to the, to, the, to the own man and then, yeah, they show the quality. Congratulations, it's a fantastic uh, to watch side, but uh, yeah, we were also not so bad today, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I wished him to score. Um, fantastic when you walk off the pitch and uh, the stand is giving you applause. I think it's it's uh, yeah shows the yeah the the, the, the atmosphere here. Um, yeah, 
I took him off because I need him on Wednesday again and uh, they did a massive job, Longy and him, and the other two guys tried to, to work as hard as them. But yeah, at the end it was the game was gone after two zero and you you know it's it's gone. Yes. What do you think made the difference between your first half performance and your second half performance? The first goal. <laughs> because when we score it as again, maybe it, it's a completely different second half, but uh, at that moment, then you, you see that they they get a lift, and and then they are strong. This is um, not so surprising. Is the intention to continue with Ward-Prowse at right back for Spurs? Or... Oh, don't ask me. At the moment, uh, we we have seen a team that is doing well, and although we conceded four goals, I think uh, that is our way and, and, and in the mo- at the moment uh, with a with few injured players we must do it, yes. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you.